It is better to offer no excuse than a bad one. Human happiness and moral duty are inseparably connected. 99% of failures come from people who make excuses. I hope I solve process firmness and virtue and now to maintain what I consider the most enviable of all types, the character of an honest man. But again, the importance of pretended patriotism. It is better to be a London and better company. If freedom of speech is taken away, in dumb and silent we might be lead like sheep to the slaughter. My mother was the most beautiful woman I ever saw. All I am I owe to my mother. I attribute my success in life to the moral, intellectual and physical education I received from her. Perseverance and spirit have done wonders in all age. Head of the for any man and encourage each other in how the whole world that a free man, continuing for liberty on his own ground, is superior to any slavery machinery on earth. Happiness depends more upon the internal frame of a person's own mind than on the external in the world. A sensible woman can never be happy with a fool. Experience teach us that it is much easier to prevent an enemy from posting themselves than it is to dislodge them after they have got position. The turning points of life are not the great moments. The real crises are often consulted in occurrences so trivial in appearance that they pass and absorb. War in the inter was paid by Jews who borrow trouble. The harder the conflict, the greater the trial. It is best to be silent, for there is nothing more certain than that it is at all times more easy to make enemies than friends. Human have had you to withstand the hiccups better. Freedom and property rights are inseparable. You can have one without the other. Associate yourself with men of good quality. If you esteem your own reputation, for it is better to be alone than in a bad company. Labor to keep alive in your breath, the little spark of celestial fire, call it conscience. There is nothing which can better deserve our patronage than the promotion of science and literature. Knowledge is in every country the source base of public happiness. We have probably had the good and opinion of human nature in forming our confederation. Never a touch where it is of us. A very troublesome species of property. You can only trust yourself and the first six black saved at home. Knowledge of books is the basis upon which other knowledge is to be boiled. But last some unlucky. If a soul happened unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I this day declare with the utmost sincerity. I do not think myself equal to the common I am honored with. 
make sure you are doing what God wants you to do. Then do it with all your strength. Hold the bullets with self and believe me, there is something charming in the soul. My first wish is to see this village of mankind war vanished from the earth. So not yourself glad at the misfortune. I've another so he we are your enemy. Be not hasty to believe flying reports to the disparagement of any. To encourage literature in the art is a duty which every good citizen owes to his country. I conceive a knowledge of books is the basis upon which other knowledge is to be boiled. Paper money has had the effect in your state that it will ever have through in commerce. Oppress the harness and open the door to every species of fraud and injustice. Where are our men of abilities? Why do they not come forth to save their country? Real men despise battle, but will never run from it. We must consult our minds rather than our wishes. Be courteous to all, but intimate with few, and let those be well tried before you give them your confidence. To persevere in one's duty and be silent is the best answer to calumny. Let your heart feel for the afflictions and distress of everyone. Discipline is the salt of an army. It makes small numbers formidable, preserves success to the weak and esteem to all. We should not look back unless it is to derive us for lessons from past errors and for the purpose of profiting by dearly book experience. There is nothing so likely to produce peace as to be well prepared to meet the enemy. Be not glad at the misfortune of another, though he might be your enemy. No punishment, in my opinion, is too great for the man who can ruin his greatness upon his country's ruin. I hope the maxim, the least applicable to public, tend to prevent affairs, that honesty is always the best voice. Take not effect of the absent, for it is unjust. If to please the people, we offer what we ourselves disapprove, how can we afterwards defend our work? Let us rise a standard to which the wise and honest can repair. The rest is in the hands of God. There, the abyss from where no traveler is permitted to return. It is absolutely necessary for me to have persons that can think for me as well as execute others. Try not with your superiors in argument, but always submit your judgment to others with modesty. A bad war is full with a good mind. Decision making, like coffee, needs a cooling process. 
I'll die on my feet before I lie on my knees. Individuals entering into society must give up a share of liberty to preserve the rest. A slender acquaintance with the world must confine every man that actions, not words, are the true criterion of the attachment of friends. The government is not reason, it is not eloquence, it is force, and force like fire. It is a dangerous effort and a fearful master. To be prepared. For war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. We began a contest for liberty, I'll provide it with the means for the war, relying on our patriotism to supply the deficiency. We expected to encounter men worn and distressed. We must bear the present efforts and fortitude. Liberty, when it begins to take root, is a plan of rapid growth. Our austere power is most easily stabilized on the ruins of liberty above the licentiousness. Where in your reprove another be unblameable yourself, for example, is more refined than present. Interwoven as is the law of liberty, with every ligament of your heart, no recommendation of mine is necessary to fortify or confirm the attachment. Every day the increasing weight of your admonishes me more and more, that the shed of retirement is as necessary to me as it will be welcome. The reflection you upon my situation and that of this army produces many an unity hour when all around me are white but in sleep. Few people know the predicament we are in. And finish of all, I am determined to be pleased with all. In this, my dear friend, being the order for my march, I will move gently down the stream of life until I sleep with my father. The great mass of our citizens require only to understand matters rightly, to form right decisions. The gradual extension of our settlements will as certainly cause the siege, as the wolf to retire, both being bits of prey Thus they differ in shape. I had rather be on my farm than be emperor of the world. Do not suffer your good nature to say yes when you ought to say no. Remember that it is a public, not a free fair. Cause that is to be injured or benefited by your choice. Much was to be done by prudence, much by conciliation, much by firmness. Gentlemen, you will permit me to put on my speechless, for I have not only grown gray but almost blind in the surface of my country. Every man thinks God is on his side, the rich and powerful know he is. Reason and experience would forbid us to expect that national morality can prevail in exclusion of religious principles. Those who have committed no faults one apart them, we are only defending what we deem our indisputable right. System to all things is the soul of business. To execute properly, and act naturally is the way to conduct it to your advantage. 
let me now take a more comprehensive view and warn you in the more solemn manner against the beneficial effect of the spirit of party generally. It may be laid down as primary position in the basis of your system that every citizen who enjoys the protection of a free government owes not only a proportion of his property but even of his personal service to the defense of it.